wrist weight bearing. Come onto all fours or place your hands on the seat of your chair. Have your wrists under your shoulders. Have your third finger pointing forwards. Begin to circle, deliberately placing weight through your wrists. So you're leaning slightly forward. Now go the other way. And finally, make figures of eight deliberately, taking your wrists through their full range of movement. One in every two Caucasian women will experience osteoporosis-related fracture. The prevalence of osteoporosis in wrist fractures is 34% of women and 17% of men. So it's important to do some form of wrist-bearing activity every day. Now change direction in your figure of eight movements. What we're doing is we'll build up strength and increase your range of movement in your wrists. And of course, when you have a fall, you reach for the ground with your wrists and that's when it breaks. If you want to put even more weight through your wrists, take your feet further away from your hands. The hardest position being plank pose with your weight pressed to forwards onto your wrists. If you are in plank, bring yourself back into cat. We're going to change the position by turning the right hand one quarter turn to the right and the left hand one quarter turn to the left so your fingers are pointing to the walls either side of you. Now your hands in this new position make new circles and figure of eights. Now turn your hands another quarter turn so that your hands are facing your knees. Feel how the stretch on the inside of your wrists changes in this new position. Notice how it feels to continue to circle either way and figure of eight in this new hand position. If you do experience a wrist fracture in later years, it's likely that you will be investigated for osteopenia, the first stage of the full bone condition osteoporosis, as this will most likely be the cause but you will have had no indication at all that this is going on in your body. Lack of weight bearing activity and loss of hormones is likely to be the cause of generating demineralized bones which are more porous and therefore weaker bones that are more likely to fracture. However, keeping up weight bearing regimes like this one to stress the bones will, it will produce new grown growth, bone growth even. <laughs> That, which can reverse the condition. See how your fingers are facing you now. See if you can pick the hands up and turn them a full 360 degrees around so that they're, they are back facing your knees again. Doesn't it look weird? Where can you feel this? In your outer arm joints such as elbows and shoulders. How restricted are you in your movements when you try to circle in figure of eight now? Now bring your hands back to their original position. The third fingers are facing forwards. Gently side bend, shortening first one side of your waist and then the other. Notice where this movement comes from. What part of your back is moving most? Is it the top half or the bottom half? Or are they both moving in equal amounts? Now as much as you can tolerate, take your hands off the floor or the chair seat and begin dropping your hands with a sharp exhale. As you land, Take care not to hurt yourself. Just go as hard as you can to tolerate. Great job. To counterbalance this tough work on the wrists, put them back together again by turning the backs of your hand to face the floor. Fingers towards your knees and gently lean forward and back. This will stretch the back of your hands. If that's too strong a stretch, simply press the back of one hand with the other in turn. 
Now come into a forward bend from sitting on your chair. Or if you are on your hands and knees, come into child's pose with your bottom on your heels. <laughs> 